So with that, I will uh, turn it over to Bruce Routen, who is going to do the demo. So Bruce, do you want to just uh, describe what you're going to cover in the demo, and then I'll switch the screen back. Uh, I'll switch the presenters uh, thing over to you. Okay, thank you, Sid. Um, first, I'm going to discuss the month-end financial close process, which is probably the most one of the most typical applications for real-time reporting. Uh, we'll go through, touch on a trial balance, a variance analysis, and uh, look at some journal details. And then I'll switch over to supply chain, just uh, show you an, an unbooked order process to make sure that we've got all our orders booked and show an integrated real-time and historical data um, capability with the top sales performers, a standard Oracle supply chain application uh, analytics report. And then I'll do a very quick uh, demo of, of how you can do the ad hoc query to modify one of the reports and quickly go through the financial and supply chain report index so that you can see how, how extensive the reporting actually is. Uh, before I start on the financial close process, I'll tell a, a, a brief story. About 15 years ago, I was working with a client in the, the ERP space, and the controller posted the, ran his first posting run for the month and discovered uh, early in the morning that he had a, a $2.4 billion transaction, which is rather a shock in a $150 million business. And it turns out that there had been an error in posting a purchase order that affected all of the average cost for transactions that had happened throughout the month. We wound up taking three days and many, many cycles of adjustments and corrections to be able to resolve the issue so that they could finally close the books and, and report their financials. So based on that, if we, if, Sid, if you flip it over to me so that I can do the demo. Um, we, we started off with, you run the traditional trial balance. Uh, controllers do this every, every month with, with regularity. And just to make sure that everything's in balance. But the next piece that we wanted to, to touch on, and, and I, I should mention, these are we're pulling this from the Oracle Demo Database. So even though this says December 7th is the period name, we're actually pulling this directly from EBS. Uh, we just want to pick data where there's a period where there's actually data. Um, so if, if we go from the trial balance, the next thing is saying, well, what accounts have had major fluctuation from last period? So we looked through this, and this report happens to be ranked in descending order from the variance to prior period. And as you go through here, and certainly these are some rather dramatic swings, as you'd expect in the demo environment. But we can select one of these accounts and, and drill down to the, the detailed journal lines that actually make up this entry and see that, that we had receipts and some transfers, and, and that's what's driving the, the changes in this particular account. As going to a, a further example, occasionally journal entries uh, error out when you're trying to post. Uh, so I might, as a controller, I might say, oh, I'm responsible for correcting these US federal transactions here, but I need to pass this information on to my associate who's responsible for taking care of the, the payroll close. So it's, again, it's a real-time pull. Now, obviously, this report, you, you want to get back and have no data on it, but this is an example of how we get the real-time data to m help manage the process. So then flipping over to the supply chain side, and this is just, a, normally you might not see these on the same dashboard, but for our purposes today, we put them here. Uh, here we have an illustration of a integrated real-time report together with a traditional Oracle analytics report. So we look at the unbooked orders because some of the process that you may run into is orders get entered, and for one reason or another, they never get booked. And clearly, if, if the order's not booked, it'll never be shipped, and you can't satisfy your customer. So as we look at this report, we see that uh, Michel Mercier has three orders out here that are that are entered but not booked. And we can look for, for context and look over here at this, this standard supply chain analytics report that says, oh, well, Michel's actually doing pretty well. He's uh, done a, a million two in, in orders in this period. So clearly there's an exception here. I have a reason to go talk to Michel and say, is there something going on with these orders? And, and ask follow-up questions to see, what's the issue, why we can't get these booked and processed. So again, it's, it's the benefit of having a real-time report showing me operational data while getting the, the context from the, the BI analytics. So while we're here, what I'd like to do is flip over and, and edit this real-time report just to give a, a quick illustration of the ad hoc capability. And I'm going to click on the edit button here. And with any luck, the demo system, yeah, there we go. And we'll go to the standard anal answers environment and we'll go to the unbooked orders details report and we'll add the description. Oops, I went to the wrong page here. 
we will add the description to these orders to my report and then I'll flip over to the results and we can see that that description has been added to the report so now we have more information with which to go back to Michelle and say uh, is there an issue with this particular item or, or why are we not getting these booked what's what's going on here uh, so as a sales manager I'm able to make sure that at the end of the month all of the orders are booked so that we all make our numbers as much as possible so that that's kind of the the ad hoc capability what I wanted to do quickly now is flip over to the dashboards and just to, to show you what some of the other reports we have built are um, if you go to the index for financial reports you see that we have quite a few in payables receivables we're continuing to develop additional ones in general ledger we can look at fixed assets again this is a, a much more limited scope for now and the, though we have uh, a roadmap for expanding these and then when you get to supply chain we're building continually building additional reports in this area so that kind of gives you an overview of what some of the capabilities that we have within the real-time reporting and some of the the scope of what we're attacking with these in the near term so Sid, that pretty much wraps up my demo if you want to take it back 